Hey learners, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we will study about digestion and absorption of proteins. The food we consume consists of protein and in human digestive system there are two sites where the digestion of protein takes place. One is stomach and the other one is small intestine. Rest of the parts of the digestive system are not involved in the digestion of protein. So let's talk about how these two organs are involved in the digestion of protein. Stomach is the first site where the protein digestion starts. So when you consume your food, you chew it in the mouth and then that food is transferred to the stomach and in the stomach the digestion of protein starts. Now in the stomach there are gastric glands and these gastric glands have parietal cells. The parietal cells they secrete hydrochloric acid because of this hydrochloric acid the pH value of stomach is 2 to 3. The other cells are zymogen cells. The zymogen cells they secrete pepsinogen which is an inactive enzyme. This pepsinogen is transferred from the zymogen to the central part or this cavity of the stomach. Here this pepsinogen is activated to pepsin enzyme which is an active enzyme when it is exposed to the acidic medium. So the acidic value of 2 to 3 in this part of the stomach is going to activate this inactive pepsinogen into active pepsin and this pepsin is going to act on the protein and will digest this protein into peptones and polypeptides. The polypeptides are actually the long chains of amino acids. Okay, What is the purpose of producing pepsin as a pepsinogen? Because the pepsinogen is produced in the lining of the stomach and from here it is transferred to the central part where it is going to digest the protein. We know that the stomach is also made up of protein. So if the pepsinogen present or produced in the walls of the stomach is already active or already present in the pepsin form, what will it do that it is going to digest the stomach walls and this is going to damage the stomach structure and because of this reason the pepsin is produced in pepsinogen form which is inactive form so it is not going to damage the walls of the stomach and from the walls of the stomach it is going to move towards the cavity here or the lumen and in this part it is going to be activated and then it is going to act on the food which you have consumed. The second side for the digestion of protein is small intestine. The small intestine is made up of three parts the duodenum duodenum and ileum. First of all in the duodenum the secretion from the pancreas it is going to enter through the pancreatic duct and this secretion is going to contain trypsinogen. Again the trypsinogen is an inactive enzyme and when it is going to enter into the small intestine or the duodenum part of the small intestine it is going to be activated by the enzyme enterokinase into trypsin. So again the purpose of producing an active enzyme is the same which I explained you in case of stomach. So here again the trypsinogen is going to be converted into the trypsin and this trypsin is going to convert the protein into peptones and polypeptides. So until this part the duodenum part the protein which is a complex structure has been digested into the poly peptides like this. Now the polypeptides they are made up of amino acids. Again in the duodenum another enzyme also act this is known as chymotrypsin. So these both enzymes they are going to act on the protein to digest it into polypeptide. The next part of the small intestine is duodenum. In the duodenum the polypeptide which is produced in the duodenum and the stomach is going to be converted into dipeptides by the enzyme aminopeptidase. Then this dipeptide is going to be converted into amino acids by the enzyme erypsin. The dipeptide as the name indicated is made up of two amino acids and these two amino acids they are going to be converted into one amino acid by the action of enzyme erypsin. Until the duodenum, all the protein is digested into the amino acids. Now the amino acid is the smallest 
part of the protein or it is the smallest component of the protein which can easily be absorbed now here the digestion of protein is completed next step is the absorption of protein the absorption of protein takes place in the ileum which is the third part of small intestine in the ileum the amino acids which are produced in the jejunum they are going to be absorbed by diffusion or by active transport into the blood capillaries through microvilli so in the ileum this type of structure is present here you can see this structure this structure is known as villi and every villi is consisted of many microvilli the microvilli is going to act as the smallest cell the villi they are surrounding the blood capillaries here you can see so the amino acids which are produced here in the ileum they are going to be absorbed from the villi to the microvilli and they will enter into the blood vessels and from the blood vessels they will be taken to their destination so in a summary the digestion of protein takes place in the stomach in the duodenum and in the jejunum while the absorption of protein it takes place in the ileum of the small intestine so that was all about the digestion and absorption of proteins if you like this video share it with your friends also subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video